Welcome back. I am currently over at the Villager Trading Hall because in the last episode, we ended up losing a couple of things on our quest to find wither skeleton skulls. So I've come over here just to replace everything, get everything all mended up and get ourselves ready for the wither fight today. We're going to take a little bit of a break from building the mega base to get some other important things done in this episode. And the first one is, of course, the wither. We're gonna fight the wither so we can get ourselves a beacon and then we can collect up all of the resources, the rest of the resources that we need for the mega base. So I do have a few things prepared and I'm gonna put away some of my tools, but we have some health potions, we got some uh, golden apples. I've even got an enchanted golden apple just in case things go really badly. And I've also got a bunch of eggs to sacrifice to the wither boss for wither roses because I think I'd like to use some in my mega base and I don't particularly want to build a whole farm just for wither roses so we're going to spawn a, as many chickens as we can from these eggs uh, and let the wither just take them out. Okay I've dug a very long tunnel and we're going to spawn the wither all the way at the other end so I'm just setting my spawn here. I really hope this tunnel is going to be long enough. Okay, let's get all of these eggs out. Just a few chickens, just a few chickens. This, this should be enough chickens. <laughs> no, oh, come back, come back this way chickens. You're supposed to be sacrifices. Go back to the wither skeleton. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready to put this last skull on? Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we can't... Ooh. way easier than I thought it was gonna be oh my gosh quick let's grab the wither roses yes oh there was lava here that's not helpful that was surprisingly way easier than I thought it was gonna be I didn't need any of my potions or apples or anything so that's good now we have another star we've got we only got 13 wither roses it would have been nice to get a few more than that but that's fine we got the nether star that's the main thing we wanted we can make ourselves a beacon now and that's Excellent. Let's get out of this dark cave. I vastly overestimated how much of this tunnel, how long we were going to need this tunnel to be. <laughs> I definitely thought the wither was going to be harder to kill than that. I don't know why I remember it being harder. We're going to put the star away in the nether chest for safekeeping. Now, the next thing I want to do is head on over to our nether hub, which currently just looks like this. It is a bit of a mess. There are just a bunch of random very small two by one tunnels just running around to each of the different areas that we have portals in there's one down there which was for when we did frogs it's just all a bit all over the place and there's absolutely nothing nice to look at here it just is a bit of a mess and I'd really like to turn this into a proper nether hub before we can even start decorating things we need to actually just like dig a whole bunch of it out and clear out some space and tidy up all of these get rid of these rails and yeah just generally tidy up and plan out where we want all of the paths to go all of the different portals to go we don't have a portal over by our castle base just yet so we need to put a new portal in there and I think we probably want a portal over by spawn as well because it's far enough away that it's really awkward to to run all the way back from there so maybe we'll have a spawn portal as well which will just make that easier if that does happen let's get this place all cleared out all tidied up and all of the portals in 
the correct places and all of the paths properly joining everything all together. So now this is all looking slightly less awful and much easier to get around and our castle portal is down there and yeah this is all kind of ready to decorate and plan out a nice looking nether hub so that when we do come in here it's actually a nice place to be and looks nice but this is definitely an improvement for now. Much like the castle mega base, we need to just collect more resources before we can get started on building the actual nether hub and decorating it and making it look all nice. But while we are digging around in the nether, I think I also want to do a bit of netherite mining because that's something else that's on our project board and something that we just don't have at all. Yeah, we don't have any netherite. All of our gear is still diamonds. All of our tools are still diamonds and yeah while we're while we're just digging i'm gonna gonna head down to some lower parts and do a bit of strip mining for ancient debris okay i'm down at y15 which is about the best spot i think for netherite ancient debris mining i'm just gonna set up a little area here for us to come back to and check in on our things if we need them i've brought a couple of shulker boxes with us so that we can store away all of the gold and quartz that we mine because i'm gonna use my fortune pickaxe so that it mends itself as we go and we don't have to worry about coming back out to repair up our pickaxe and i'm just gonna strip mine i'm just gonna use the the strip mining method i i feel like it works pretty well but that's kind of boring for you to watch so i will go and do some strip mining and i will check back in in maybe an hour and see how many ancient debris i found i have been digging tunnels in the nether for about an hour and a half now and i've got 35 bits of ancient debris and I already had five pieces in my ender chest. So I do have 40 bits of ancient debris, which gets us 10 netherite ingots to upgrade with. I think I want to get just one more and then that should be a good amount. And that should let us upgrade everything, everything. And then we have done it all. Yeah, I think we, we got really lucky actually in an hour and a half. Like I have done a lot of digging, but we got... 35 in an hour and a half i think if i can just get four more that would be great so i'm just gonna do a tiny bit more digging just to see if i can get the last four Just one more to go. Ah, there we go. The last one. That was the last one we needed. Now let's um let, let's find our way back. I think this is the right way. This way? Is it this way? I've dug far too many tunnels, I don't know where I am. Oh, yes, here, here we go. Here it is. We're we're out, we're free. <laughs> I have dug so there there are so many tunnels down here, it's just I mean it, it's just a grid but it's so easy to get lost okay we have got so many resources now this is this is amazing this has been a very successful mining expedition and we got 44 ancient debris which was our main goal but we also got a ton of gold and quartz and gravel and blackstone which will also maybe come in useful for building and stuff later the gravel definitely will let's head home Okay, let's get this smelting, put all of this stuff away as well. I think it actually only took me about two hours in total to get all of this ancient debris, which I think is 
is really good, is pretty good going. I definitely think that, that strip mining is the way to go when collecting ancient debris. And there it is, all smelted up. Let's collect those. And we can now turn all of that into 11 netherite ingots. All of that, all of that. And it just turns into 11. <laughs> okay, it's upgrade time. Where's my, I think I've got one upstairs. Okay, what are we upgrading? All of our tools and all of our armor and our hoe as well. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, all of those things. There should be a blacksmithing table behind one of these, one of these villagers. Is it you? Are you the blacksmith? There it is. Okay, netherite sword. Fortune pick. Silk pick. Silk shovel, axe, all of the armor, <gasps> there we go, there's the achievement, uh, and then let's also do our hoe, <laughs> serious dedication, and our spare shovel which is just the shovel without silk touch for if we're doing terraforming and it also only has uh, efficiency three so it doesn't break dirt too quickly if I'm trying to terraform sometimes a regular shovel uh, the efficiency five shovel is a bit too fast so let's put this on and check ourselves out look check us out we are fully covered in netherite this is awesome I don't think I've ever actually got a full set of netherite not like all of my armor and all of my tools so i'm really happy with this that did take a couple of hours of just straight mining but that wasn't too bad and we now have a full set and we don't need to do any more mining and now all of our tools will last longer as well before we have to repair them up which will just save me time now I think that the last thing I want to get done in this episode is to build ourselves a squid farm because we are going to need grey dye for the castle and we are probably going to use some black dye for the nether hub as well. So I need to find myself a good river spot to set this up and I think just next to the swamp here might be quite good. There's a good river sort of area around here which we don't really come to and will be sort of hidden away so it won't, you won't be able to see it from any of the other bases. Maybe, maybe here somewhere? Here seems like it might be a good spot. There's plenty of squid here and I've got all of the stuff ready to go and I think that also we can set up our first ever beacon. Let's make ourselves a beacon and set up a, a full, I've got all this iron from the iron farm so we can set up a beacon to help us dig out this space as well because it's it's going to be a fair bit of digging to get this farm built. So, beacon. Oh, I don't know why I thought there would be an achievement for that. It's probably, it's probably for activating it. Let's build it here. There we go. There's the beacon. Let's put haste on. There's the achievement. There we go. Okay, we got haste too. Let's let's do this in a time lapse, I think. Let's build a squid farm.
So hopefully this squid farm is going to work okay. There is quite a lot of water around and there was a lot of uh, water caves as well as you probably saw me having to drain those to dig out this hole. So I might try and drain some of the river around it to try and make this a bit more productive because I, I'm not really seeing any squid spawning yet but I'm pretty sure I've made it right. I am going to just hang out here for a bit, make sure it's working, collect up some of the drops, maybe clear out some of the other water around whilst I wait just to use the time. And I feel like we got quite a lot done in this episode. We fought the wither, we got ourselves a beacon, cleared out a bunch of the nether tunnels ready for the nether hub, upgraded all of our gear to netherite, including all of our tools and all of our armor, and built this squid farm which still no squids yet, but we built the farm and it, I'm sure it'll be fine. I am going to hang out here for a bit and maybe AFK and collect up some black ink ready for all of the resources that we are going to need to grind in the next episode when we get back to megabase building and megabase progress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one for some more mega base progress. Goodbye.